What is going on guys welcome back in today's video I'm going to show you how you can automate video editing in Python using MoviePy so let us get right into it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to edit videos, we're going to cut videos in Python, we're going to add some effects. And for this, we're going to use the library MoviePy, which is an external library, which means that we need to install it using the command line. So we open up CMD on Windows or the terminal on Linux and Mac, and we type pip install MoviePy like that. Once you've done that, you will be able to import it. So we're going to say from MoviePy, and we're going to use a sub module editor. So we're going to say from moviepy.editor because we can do different things with uh, with moviepy. So we're going to pick the editor to edit videos. And from the editor, we're going to import a bunch of classes and uh, functions and so on. So if you just want to play around, you can use a wildcard import, but never use it in code. If you have to import many, many things in code, you might want to use an alias, something like import moviepy.editor as, I don't know, ME or something. I think there might even be a convention for that. Uh, but don't just import everything. You can do that if you just want to play around and if you want to, to experiment. Uh, for today's video, we're just going to import everything manually. And the first thing we want to import here is the video file clip. And before we continue with the code, let me show you what the basic idea is of what we're going to do today. So I have here a directory with uh, an intro MP4, which is a neural nine intro, and we have two videos which are copyright free. Um, so I got them from Pixabay uh, to, to be able to show them in that video here. And when we open one of these videos here, we're going to see they're quite simple. So just some smoke, uh, 59 seconds. You can see some smoke animation here. And the second one is also something similar as you can see here. Um, and then I have the neural nine intro, which I'm mainly going to use for the music. So we're not going to use the the intro itself really as a video. And the basic idea is just to show you here how you can edit, how you can combine how you can cut videos with MoviePy and Python. Uh, it is quite interesting, especially if you want to, I don't know, do some compilation style of video, or you want to do some random compilation, or you want to just automate your video cutting process. If it's always the same, you just need to enter the seconds or something like that. Uh, there are many use cases for that. So I'm going to give you the very simple example of just picking these videos that I showed you, taking parts out of them, combining them, then adding some transitions, then adding some music and so on, uh, just to see how this works. So the first thing we want to do is we want to define clips, we want to take, for example, uh, the first video of the smoke animation, and we want to take uh, the part from second 10 to second 20. How do we do that? We can say something like clip one, equals and then I say video file clip. And here I enter the file name now. So I enter one dot mp4, which is the first video, and then I can apply uh, certain functions at the end of that video file clip. So I can say, okay, dot sub clip. And this is going to return again a clip. Now, if I'm not mistaken, video file clip. Um, do we see that here? Okay, we don't see that. But video file clip returns a clip. And when I then apply sub clip, it returns a clip. And I think that when I apply something else, it also returns a clip. So it's a little bit like a builder as far as I know. But the important thing is we we do something like mp4 and then dot sub clip. And here we specify second 10 second 20. This means we take the video uh, at the location one dot mp4. This is the file name, then we sub clip meaning that we take uh, the part of the video from second, uh, second 10 to second 20. And then we can add some more stuff in the end if we want to, we're just going to leave it uh, like that for now, then we can say clip two equals video file clip two dot mp4. And we can do something, uh, something similar here. So for example, same time range, and then we can say, okay, clip three is going to be just the one mp4 again, dot sub clip 2030, for example, just to mix it up a little bit. Um, yeah, so this is without effects, this is without transitions, this is just the basic, uh, the basic clips here. And now we can go ahead and combine these into one full video that we then save that we then export uh, to the hard drive. And how we can do that is we need to import another function, which is called concatenate video clips. And as the name already says, it concatenates video clips. So we're going to say combined equals concatenate video clips. 
And here we basically just pass a list of clips. So clip one, clip two, clip three, like that. And all we need to do now to produce uh, to produce the final video is combined dot write video file and then combine dot mp4 for example. So we run this and we're hopefully going to see the progress here. You can see it's working. Uh, it may take a little bit longer if you don't have a strong computer and then it's done. We can go ahead and open it up in the Explorer and then just click on it. And you can see here that we have uh, the first 10 seconds already animation from video one from the second 10 to second 20. And then after 10 seconds, we're going to switch. You're going to see here, there you go, it switches. And then at around second 20, there you go, it switches back again. So we just combined three clips. We, we took a video, we took two videos, we got some clips out of that. We combined them in a certain order and that's basically it. So this is how you basically just cut videos. Now you can also add some animation, you can add transitions, you can add effects. Uh, so let me show you a very simple one. You can go just ahead here and say clip four, and we're gonna take, uh, let's say again, 1020. So we basically take the same clip, but we're now gonna add some effects. And how do we add effects? Now I'm not sure if we need to import that. No, we don't need to import that, but we need to import uh, something else. So we can call the dot FX function to add some effect to act, add some filter basically. And here now we need to use VFX. So we need to import VFX. And we're going to use VFX for um, for all sorts of filters for all sorts of video transitions, everything that's related to video effects is in VFX, everything that's related to audio effects is in AFX. So later on, we're also going to import AFX. Now, let me just see if you can see all the imports. Yes, you can. Um, and now what we can do here is we can just say, okay, let's say VFX dot color X. And now I can just say 1.5. And this is going to change the color, uh, color X value. Um, I can also change the contrast. Now, let me just start a new line here. How do we do that in Python again like that, right? Uh, so dot fx and then vfx dot loom underscore contrast and we're gonna say this is 0 50 128 or something. I hope these are acceptable values. Now let me indent that a little bit here. And now we can just add this clip here in the end and this is going to take some time probably because it has to do the calculations. So you're going to see that when it works, it's going to start quite quickly. And then in the end, it's going to take some more time, I think. There you go. Now, now it, uh, it is a little bit slower because it has to apply onto each frame all these effects. Now, those are just two effects. But if you have a lot of effects on each frame, this needs to be calculated what it looks like and so on. Uh, and then it produces the final video. And now we're going to see that we have an additional clip, an additional 10 second clip. And if we open this up again, in the Explorer. And we go to the end, you're going to see that we now have this thing here, which is essentially uh, the first the first clip with these filters. Again, I didn't choose quite uh, I, di I didn't choose any interesting or meaningful filters. I just showed you something again, if you want to see all the functions, like usual, you just go to your documentation. But this is the general idea, you call the FX function on a clip, and then you pass VFX for video effects. And then uh, you you pick some filter, you pick some setting that you want to change. Now, another thing that we can do here is transitions, as I already said. So what I usually do in my videos, you have probably noticed is I have one clip, at least when I split the video up into multiple clips, I have one clip. And then in the end, I have a one second uh, fade out or half a second fade out and then fade in again. Uh, to switch between the individual clips. So we can do something similar here as well. We can just say fx and then vfx dot fade in, and then specify the seconds. So one second fade in, and then also fx vfx. And now I think I'm starting to block the code, right? There you go. So let me just move this down here. Um, I can say vfx dot fade out. And VFX fade out is going to have also one second. And now I can just take this here. I can copy this and I can paste this. There you go. 
and that will then generate a simple fade in fade out effect. Now, before we just do that, I also want to add an audio clip or actually let let's first see what what this looks like since we don't have the effects now anymore. This is not going to take too long. Uh, but then we're also going to get uh, we're, we're going to add the audio from my intro just to have some audio. Again, the result of this is not going to be a fancy video. It's just showing you how to use everything and then you can make your own fancy video if you want to. But now we should be able to see a fade in effect. There you go. We saw the fade in effect. Now at second 10, we see a fade out, fade in and so on and so forth. So this is quite useful. Um, if you want to use Python for video editing, I don't I use DaVinci Resolve, but still you can use Python for video editing if you want to. Now let's go ahead and uh, get the audio clip. And for that, we're going to also import here the audio file clip. And we're also going to import AFX for the audio effects. Um, and how do we do that? Essentially, we just say, okay, audio equals audio file clip. And we don't have to load an MP3 or an audio file, we can also get a video file and get the audio from that video file. And now we can add some some effects here as well. So we can say FX and then for example, AFX dot audio underscore fade in to fade in the audio, obviously. And also here we can specify a second. And then we're going to say FX, AFX, and we can change the volume. Now, let's do it first without the volume change. I'm actually not sure if you're going to hear something because I think I have disabled the desktop sound. Um, but this is how you create the audio clip. And now to the final video clip, you just have to say combined dot audio equals and then this is another thing that we need to import here, composite audio clip. Um, and we just say here composite audio clip audio like that. So we can run that and then it's going to get the audio from the intro. Again, I don't think that you're going to hear it. Maybe I can change something about the settings here. So I now enable the desktop audio, maybe you're going to hear something. If not, you can just run this on your own computer and you're going to see that the audio is there. And now you can hopefully hear my intro. If not, again, you want to do it on your own. And um, now we can add a final filter here, we can just say fx, afx dot, uh, what was the name volume x and this basically means that we can uh, increase or decrease the volume. So if I say 0 0.1, we're not going to hear anything. Now I don't know if you if you heard anything um, right now. But if you had heard anything right now, now you would hear it way, uh, way more silent. So the the, the volume is going to be decreased. And we can see the effect. Hopefully you can also hear it in the video again, otherwise just try it on your own. And there you go. So there is still audio, but it's very, very silent. I'm not sure if silent is the correct word. So this is how you can cut videos, how you can edit videos in Python, you just have video clips, you have audio clips, you can uh, cut them, you can add effects, you can add transitions, you can change the audio, you can fade in fade out and a ton of more things that you can read about in a documentation. This was a very basic introduction. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. And bye.